welcome to Crafty Beast Fabrication Nation. Today I want to talk about hole saws. You fabricators, you've used them, I've used them, they work great, they cannot work so great. I want to dig into the Harbor Freight Warrior Series hole saw kit that I bought from three quarter to four and a quarter with all the mandrills. I think I'm 50 bucks all in. Let's see how they work and put them into use. So this is what it looks like once you open the box. You've got your big heavy duty mandrel with the drive pins. As you can see, they, they screw in and out just like so, and that's going to lock on to the hole saw. So you spin it on like so. You get it down close, and then you've got to align the pins up, and then you just turn the thumb wheel, and that those drive pins keep it from spinning it's not likely that the saw will be tight to the mandrel but so that's like the big heavy duty one right there and then to to take your saw off pretty simple it comes with a looks like a some kind of collar well it isn't some kind it is a collar and that will get you the smaller mandrel for the bigger saws if you're going to use like a hand drill so that's pretty much it. I stepped up and bought the bigger sizes here, kind of rounded it all out. So this is three, four, and four and a quarter. So the entire set was under $50 on sale. Um, we'll run it through its course and see how they cut. All right, I've put the two inch hole saw in. We have it in our mandrel. I'm just going to quickly check just to see how many teeth per inch. So there's an inch on my calipers and it's showing five teeth. So we have a five tooth, five metal, two inch hole saw. This is Harbor Freight, quarter inch pilot drill. Let's turn it on. It's not a race, so we just run it nice and slow. We'll let that pilot hole go through. And what I have learned with aluminum, as I use soapy water. Now you may use whatever you use, but the soapy water seems to work really nice for aluminum. And the key to a hole saw is to keep it clean. Keep that cut clean. So I go down just a little bit. We're gonna stop. That seemed to work really nice because if you don't clean that that cut out it's going to pack full and if it breaks one of the teeth off of the saw you're done you just can't get through it it'll just blow them off like a machine gun so that was a pretty nice cut a little soapy water not too fast okay now we're going to use the very same hole saw on a piece of hot rolled steel i've already gotten through with my pilot drill but what we're going to use is just some spray lubricant WD-40 on the steel is to keep it cool. So let's see how she does with a piece of hot rolled steel. It's quarter inch thick. Get that cleaned out. Give her a little more lube. Just about halfway. Now that worked really well. That cut that smooth. It didn't shatter. Pretty happy with that. So this is quarter inch thick stainless steel, 301 stainless steel. We're gonna give her a whirl and see how they do on the stainless. There again, I'm running it real slow. I'm gonna use a little WD-40. Well, here's a quick summary on the two inch bimetal hole saw from Harbor Freight. I purchased this whole set for under $50 on sale because I was curious of its quality. I sawed through quarter inch stainless steel, quarter inch aluminum and quarter inch hot rolled steel. It didn't lose any of its teeth on the saw blade. It sawed true. 
and within 20 thousandths of size. I would say it's great for the hobbyist, maybe in the bottom drawer of the old toolbox. I wouldn't probably buy it for a high production setup, but for the hobbyist, I think it was well worth the 50 bucks. Thanks for watching, everybody.